All right, so what we have here is the AEA Challenger 30 caliber. It has 50% more velocity than any other PCP gun in this caliber. The ballistics are 44.75 grain JSB, that's what we're shooting today, 1,200 feet per second with 143 foot-pounds of energy, 30 shots per fill, and 3,600 PSI max. I also have a Donnie FL Ronin on the front to keep the noise down, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, and here we are with the AEA Challenger. Got this courtesy of Airgun One from my good buddy Pablo. It's a 30 caliber, and a lot of you have been asking, do, will any of these pellet guns that we have shoot through a coconut? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find out right now. We have several coconuts, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot this through them, see if it'll go all the way through, and let's get into the action. For the first couple of shots, I'm gonna go ahead and use a 48 grain Vortex Strike made by Hatson, and then after that, if those don't work, we're gonna jump in and use slugs with a hollow point tip. This gun is real simple, easy to use, very easy. My daughter, my 12 year old daughter, can slide that in and out really easy. We were sitting on a tree stand the other day, had no problem cocking it. The trigger pull is fairly light, and this thing is a beast. Hits really hard, but let's go ahead and get in the action. Here we go. Hit a little low. Let's see what it did. Let's see water dripping out. Ooh. Check this out. It actually went all the way through. I hit a little low through the coconut and out the back side of that green, super hard coconut. I mean, you could even chop that with a machete if you had to. So let's go ahead and see if it'll go through two coconuts. Move this little wounded guy out of the way. That thing hits hard and it's super quiet. A lot of you wanted me to use, find out a gun that's backyard friendly. As far as the noise, that thing's beyond backyard friendly. As for the speed, we also have several sheets of plywood in the bushes behind there. Always use a backstop, 100% safety, gun safety at all times. And here we go again. Let's get into the action. Two coconuts. Oh. Stop, drop, and roll. Check this out. Literally went through there and into here. Here's where it went in. One, in and out, in and out. You know what that means. I'm gonna have to climb the tree, grab some more coconuts, because we really didn't expect that. Let's see if it'll go through three coconuts right now. One thing I love about South Florida, we never run out of targets. Boom, targets everywhere. Did we already shoot through three? We shot through two, right? Two. See what it'll do now. These guys are nice and heavy full of water. It's another thing. Not only shoot through coconuts, we're shooting through coconuts filled with water. A lot of power. Hope my little stand will hold the weight. There's no way it's gonna go through three of them. Now, how many of you think it'll go through three of them? I don't think it will. But at this point, I don't know. I know my bulldog won't even go through two of them clean like that, so let's find out right now. Now another thing, this gun is literally half the price of any of the guns, its caliber on the market that I'm aware of. Super affordable, super powerful, super reliable. I've already shot several thousand rounds through it, so I'm really confident with it and I've had absolutely no problems at all. Let's go ahead and see if it'll go through three coconuts. Now this is with a slug. We switched it up to a slug. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh my gosh. Oh. Are you kidding me?
Well, that concludes this episode. It went all through all three with the slug. That's the AEA 30 caliber, and we'll see you on the next adventure.